to off your land. You got to go into the central work brigades. Then they just put a ring of machine guns around them and let them all starve to death. They want to re-engineer societies violently. Now, this is the bankers that funded the communists and the fascists, and they're just looting and stealing. I want to explain again. More than double all the mortgages. That, that wouldn't be double. What's uh, nine trillion would pay off all the mortgages? Is it 14 plus? So more than more than 100 percent of the mortgages, and then again half. All the mortgages in the U.S. and half again would be paid off. All mortgages with the money taxpayers have had to pay now to the bankers. And they're using it all offshore. Going to Joyce Riley, we have uh, Jim uh, Percy, who uh, knew the lady and uh, that this just happened to, and was on the line with Joyce while she was on air. Joyce, finishing up your point, though, about this lady's courage and the new developments we've got, then we'll go to Jim about this. Okay, she was so incredibly brave. What she did, the manner in which she handled herself, she kept asserting herself the whole entire time, and not in a violent, radical way, in a way a grandmother would protect her brood, really. She said, I'm the matriarch of this family, and I need to protect them. Well, I just got word that the television um, company, the television uh, network that we had contacted had gone out to her house, they were there toward the end of the event. Unfortunately, I didn't get there in time. But they were able to, according to Jim, and I think Jim can give us probably better information on this, uh, they downloaded the information from the kids that had been video recording this and the other people that were video recording there. They had gotten, uh, found out what had happened. I'll let Jim tell you about what took place then with the 15-year-old grandson. But the bottom line is they have now gone in there. They've got, they've got, armed police everywhere, taking all of her things out, and they have taken her to jail. So that's what we know thus far, is that they've taken her to jail. For and trespassing in her own house, uh, let's go to uh, Jim Percy, who's written, um, I've been covering this situation. Uh, Jim, what's the local TV station? Do you have the call letters of that, or, or will we see this on the nightly news, the afternoon news? No, I only know that it's an NBC affiliate uh, station in Hillsboro and in St. Louis, and it's Channel 5. Um, I spoke with uh, Dawn's grandson about uh, 25, 30 minutes ago, and, uh, and he said, Jim, he said the sheriffs came over to me when they were taking my grandmother and my mom out of the house in handcuffs because I was shouting at them, you're violating her constitutional rights. You are... You are so wrong in what you're doing. And the sheriff walked over to him and said, listen, if you don't keep quiet, I'm going to read you your rights. And he looked at the police officer and he said, I'm a minor. And he said, well, then you'll be a minor in jail if you keep talking. And uh, this 15-year-old grandson that, uh, that Don has is, is, is quite, a, quite an interesting young man. He's, he's got a real heart of steel. But you know, Alex, it's, it's really twofold what's going on with, with uh, Dawn Welsh. Uh, not only does she have a statement from the original bank that she um, uh, used to mortgage her home, that her home is paid for, and not only did Wachovia not do their due diligence and put themselves as a legal lien holder or entitled to the property, uh, you know, a Christopher Boyko ruled in... November of 2007, in 14 cases that were brought before his court regarding Deutsche Bank trying to do the same thing. Uh, Judge Christopher Boyko ruled that because the bank had not put themselves in a legal lien hold position, that the properties were paid for. And those people walked out of his court with their homes. Now, Don Walsh not only used that as her defense, but... We also challenge the jurisdiction of the court, because as you well know, Alex, today there are three courts in America. There's a common law court, there's an equity court, and an admiralty court. The only courts that are up and running are equity and admiralty. And the, and the only thing that the equity and admiralty courts can adjudicate are those who have voluntarily consented to a contract or those who are corporations. And we had filed with the courts an affidavit denial of corporation existence, and we had, we had challenged the jurisdiction of the court. And when, when, when the court's jurisdiction is challenged, Alex, you probably know this, 
that court cannot proceed until they overcome the challenge of jurisdiction. Yeah, well, they don't care. They don't. I mean, the government ships the drugs in, the cocaine, the heroin in openly. Police openly pull the ladies over and grab their earrings and watches publicly, and it's on the news, and the cops say, we're allowed to. You don't like it, we got a SWAT team. You know, I mean, that's the answer. You don't like it, we got a SWAT team. Uh, and we'll finish up with this on the other side and get to everybody else's calls and shift gears. Stay with us. Look, everything's a fraud nowadays. Uh, the IRS didn't exist until 1913. It's a collection agency for the private Federal Reserve on record. Congress has had hearings and admitted that. And not one red cent of the money you pay goes to the infrastructure. It all goes to interest to foreign banks. Now they've gone to a new level, $14 trillion in seven months, $14 plus trillion, not counting the $787 million stimulus package, where they said it'll all be transparent. Now they say none of it's transparent. Ha-ha! And if you don't like it, you're a terrorist. We're not going to allow you to own guns. Now, you thought the DHS report was bad. Now they have a bill citing those reports saying, you're not going to be able to own a gun, veterans. Remember Bill Clinton? First thing he did when uh, uh, he was about to leave office was say that hundreds of thousands of vets couldn't own guns that didn't even have criminal records. And everybody, I mean, literally, everybody I know, I know former, you know, uh, guys that own businesses here in town who were famous UT football players. And, you know, they, and I'll be at a, an event or something, and they'll come up and go, Alex, I don't have any criminal record, and I can't buy a gun now, because they say something in my military record. And uh, one of the guys here in the office, no criminal record, um, tried to go buy a gun last night, and they just said no. <laughs> and if you don't like it, a SWAT team will drive by. You know, that's what the paramilitary police are about. That's what making you take your shoes off and go through body scanners and now brain scanners. That's back in the news. MRIs. Well, what's next? Well, they want to take blood and urine. They have an executive order to do it. Uh, when you get the DMV, but the illegals are all exempt. Everybody for 36 years at birth has blood taken for a DNA database, which they now admit is for eugenics. I told you that for years. Now it's mainstream news. The Human Genome Project, Cold Springs Harbor. Just search engine Cold Springs Harbor. Don't believe me. It'll be the birthplace of eugenics. What what Hitler quoted as his founding place. It's all eugenics. And I know I'm ranting here. It's And, I, and I'm going to go to um, Wilson, Mike, George, Steve, and Josh. Because I know you've been holding. I said I'd have open phones today, and then this came up. Uh, but, uh, Joyce, I know you'll be covering this on your show tomorrow in the morning. And then I want to have an update uh, from you on this as it develops. We're on the KSDK St. Louis NBC5 channel. We don't see anything there yet about this. Their editors might, you know, not let them run into They may say she's with Al Qaeda or something before they do, but uh, it is Missouri where they say Ron Paul's a terrorist and libertarian bumper stickers are terrorism. And we're on in Missouri, they announce if you criticize uh, Obama, you'll be arrested. By the way, new listeners don't believe me. Uh, go to YouTube and type in uh, critis uh, Missouri. Uh, Missourians, criti uh, Missourians may be arrested for criticizing Obama, and you'll see. And the news is with a straight face. You know, you know, Joyce, Missouri's a great place. The uh, show me state, hardworking, great, salt of the earth people. A lot of the folks from Missouri are the ones that founded Texas. Uh, they were from Missouri, Tennessee, Kentucky, places like that, Alabama. What has happened to Missouri? Or is it there's there's so many patriots there? Big Brother's really trying to crack down. I mean, why do we see so? I mean, I know this is going on everywhere. Texas is real bad too. So is Illinois. I mean, every state's bad. But I mean, what is it about Missouri that they just really hate patriots? Well, I think that it's the heartland area where if they can make the heartland look bad, they can make anybody look bad. I mean, Texas has got a reputation, but Missouri doesn't. So now all of these patriots that are springing up Missouri, and let me tell you, there's a lot of them that live in the Lake of the Ozarks or back in the Ozark Mountains and don't want anybody to even know where they live. I think it's a concern for them. So the state of Missouri is attempting to do everything they can to control these people, and they use the force and the intimidation. So that's what we're seeing. And I just appreciate, I have to tell you how much I appreciate Jim Percy, because Jim Percy was up at 4 o'clock this morning there on the phone with, with uh, Don Welch. If she needed him any time of the day or night, he has been there for her. I want to give Jim Percy credit, because when Don went into the court, he was right there with her on a cell phone. And then the judge called her to the bench, and he was telling her what to do also. Now, this is not a situation where Jim encouraged her to do anything different. This is a situation where she was already doing this. She was already in trouble. 
uh, with the mortgage because of, of them saying that it wasn't paid off. Yeah, she and decided she to make her stand, so folks tried to come to her aid. And uh, absolutely. Well, Joyce, uh, as this unfolds, well, I guess, you know, they're going to ch charge her with trespassing for being in her house. They don't just take your house now in America when the armed police come uh, with their uh, with their Humvees. That I guess they now charge you. and it, it, it's, it, it's just a real travesty. So uh, we'll uh, we'll track this as it develops, Joyce, and we'll t uh, have you pop back in and Jim tomorrow if you can do it. Thank you so much, Joyce. Thank you so much, Alex.